so many people in society see that addiction is a moral failing. They see that the parent just needs to pull their socks up or their parent is choosing the addiction. 60% of women leave prison with nowhere to go. They're actually homeless. You can't get back to work. You can't enter education. You certainly can't take care of a child if you, if you have a child. So therefore, the cycle continues. Prison is the last resort for women. I mean, I, I, I don't see prison as being appropriate, except in very extreme circumstances. It doesn't fit with the social paradigm of the female matriarchal role. So I suppose that as long as women are marginalised in this way, we do need special services provided for women. We need to rethink the way we treat female offenders, and especially female offenders that have multiple complex issues. You're made to feel dirty. You're made to feel ashamed. You're made to feel that, that, you're, that you have no means of value. And you know that, oh, you, you just brush aside like, like dirt. It can be a cycle, and that parent is suffering. That parent has had experienced their own abuse and that might be why they picked up the bottle or the substance. The campaign really is to highlight the issues around women and drug addiction and all the complications that come with that. But the main reason I wanted to do the campaign is because in the 27 years that I've worked in frontline services, um, there has been an erosion of services that are catering specifically for women. Today, we want to launch the Unspoken campaign.